Hey, what's up guys? It's Henry from Tech Daddy Videos and tonight we're going to be talking about Merchant Fulfilled or shipping Amazon FBA. Welcome to my Monday night uh, Amazon Q&A as we're going to be answering questions uh, from you guys here. We do this every Monday night and so we want to make sure that um, uh, we get all your answers, get all your questions answered, basically. And uh, so we kind of do this on Monday nights and get this going, what have you. So uh, glad that you can join me tonight. I appreciate that. And um, just want to make sure that uh, everybody um, has a fair chance, fair opportunity. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into the chat and you simply ask your question in chat and then... Um, I will go ahead and try to answer that the best I can, uh, you know. So, uh, looks like we have a few people um, uh, here. Uh, looks like Renee is here. Renee says, hi. What's, okay, so let me see what she says. Renee, here, hi. Is the is this a closed group? Can you have multiple accounts on Amazon FBA? No, uh, Renee, this is uh, YouTube. There is no closed group on YouTube. Basically, I answer questions uh, on YouTube itself. And so uh, we get a lot of people from all over the world that sit here and ask questions and what have you. Um, so Renee had asked if we can have multiple accounts with Amazon. It's a great question. So uh, you can have uh, accounts. Uh, you can have, I believe, two accounts. I'm not really sure. Everything changes, uh, you know, so kind of um, not sure about that particular question now because I have not opened up a new account in 11 years. So, uh, uh, but you can check with Amazon. Just check and call Amazon, ask them if, they, if you can have a, a second account. I know in business uh, you can. Uh, I used to have an account on the East Coast and have an account on the West Coast and uh, that worked out really, really well. Um, but nowadays, you know, things have changed so it's a uh, little different. You know, Amazon is always changing their policies uh, so you might want to check with them with that. So tonight's topic uh, is going to be Merchant Fulfilled or uh, Amazon FBA. What is the best way to go out there and ship your products out and make sure that your products um, get to Amazon or if you want to do Merchant Fulfilled, fulfill the products yourself, send them out, it's a little cheaper that way. So I'm going to kind of give you the pros and the cons uh, to that. So, um, well, let's start off with Amazon's, um, well, we'll start off with Merchant Fulfilled, okay? And so Merchant Fulfilled is usually you'll get a product, uh, say for example, overseas, you order it from overseas, and then you have it shipped directly to you. So uh, what you do basically is you fulfill the products yourself. So you bag it, you bag it, you package it, uh, and you send it off. As a matter of fact, I have, today's orders for my eight o'clock trip. Uh, I go out to uh, the United States Postal Service and I will send my products out around eight o'clock to the main distribution center. And uh, they usually process that and get that out fairly quickly. I'll say hello to everybody, I appreciate that. Um, if you guys have questions, go ahead and just uh, ask the questions now. Uh, in chat, you know, feel free to type it out. I'm going to get back to you. I promise you I will do that. Um, but at the same time, I'm going to sit here and explain uh, the difference between Merchant Fulfilled and Fulfilled uh, Amazon, Fulfilled by Amazon, okay? So um, Merchant Fulfilled, it does take time. I mean, you have to have your products, get your products, get them uh, shipped to you. There's several advantages of you doing that. And uh, I sat here and I talked to somebody yesterday, as a matter of fact, they uh, wanted to take the training at Amazon, or the, uh, the training itself. So um, uh, went ahead and gave them that information and then they signed up for the course, you know, so that, that, that was kind of cool, I appreciate that. Um, 
And so, uh, but there are several things that uh, Merchant Fulfilled, you kind of get, and there are things with Amazon's FBA, you kind of get. So, um, let's start off with Merchant Fulfilled first, okay? Merchant Fulfilled is, you can get your products and you get them shipped directly to you, get them shipped to my office, get them shipped to my warehouse, and then I go out and I package everything. Um, I have, for example, I have, uh, now that you guys were talking Merchant Fulfilled, these right here are all going out. I kind of stuff them the best I can in United States Postal Service. So I have a lot of orders just today in the last three hours that basically I get out there and I package them and send them off. Uh, I send them off to um, the United States Postal Service because they're the cheapest when it comes to shipping here in the United States. So uh, just with this, a lot of these packages here are very light, uh, probably about four ounces. Uh, so I'm able to ship this off first class um, and it meets all the requirements. So. Um, uh, that would cost me, I think they, they increased the cost on it, but you're looking anywhere from $3.13 to uh, just a little higher, uh, you know, for that particular product. So um, I could ship it off, I think no more than $3.65 anywhere in the United States. So if I want to ship it from Los Angeles, go directly to uh, Florida, uh, I can do that. So. Uh, another advantage is that when you ship your products directly from overseas, you can get the shipment and you're able to inspect the shipment. And one of the things that I, I discussed and I talked about uh, with the person that called me was I kind of gave them a scenario and said, look, uh, what happens if you shipped 500 units? or say a thousand units to Amazon's FBA program, you didn't inspect it. You, you went ahead and you created your listing. And when you created your listing, uh, you said that they were blue. And all of a sudden, uh, Amazon is shipping it out uh, to their Amazon FBA program and the product that was sent from overseas was red, okay? You're gonna get a lot of complaints. You're gonna get your account suspended you're gonna get your account shut down possibly. You're gonna get that particular listing uh, deactivated because if you get a lot of uh, complaints or people sending it back, uh, especially to Amazon's uh, FBA, they're gonna find out why and then most likely if it's a different color and you didn't inspect it, you didn't see it, and Amazon's not gonna inspect it for you. So um, that's a, a huge mistake and it can cost you quite a bit of money. Cost you 50 cents per unit to have the product sent back to you. Well, if you know how Amazon works, Amazon, you send a thousand units into Amazon through their Amazon's FBA program, it will go to one warehouse and before you know it, they split up that thousand pieces and 50 pieces can go here, 50 pieces can go here, 50 pieces can go here, and they just go all over the place. So they don't keep a thousand, all thousand in one warehouse. They spread them out. That's the Nexus program. They wanna make sure that your product is everywhere. That way it doesn't get charged uh, tax on it. And so um, you'll find, I'm in California, so you'll find very few of my products here in California and maybe in the neighboring uh, state, for example, uh, Arizona or um, Nevada and so um, or Washington or what have you but they kind of keep them out and then uh, they keep them in those warehouses so merchant fulfilled you're able to inspect and take a look at your products make sure your products are good um, and, and so that's good I mean that's that's what you want uh, I always emphasize and always tell people make sure that you inspect your products, especially if you're gonna send it to Amazon's FBA program. Now let's get into the Amazon FBA side. Now, 
Prime. Everybody's heard of Prime. Everybody's heard of uh, Prime members. You know, they get the free shipping. They get all that. So what happens is you uh, send your products into Amazon. Well, what happens is as soon as you send the products into Amazon, gets into Amazon's warehouse, it automatically goes to the Prime members. Okay, you don't have to. You see that little Prime badge right next to your uh, listing. You created the listing and you send your products in, you automatically get that little Prime badge. What that tells uh, Amazon's Prime members that here's a product, you have free shipping on it, you don't have to pay for shipping, we get it out to you extremely fast, and so that's an advantage. Um, I kind of use that, um, uh, I use a little situation to where, you know, you figure out, well, what do you want? Do you want to do Merchant Fulfilled? Do you want to do uh, Amazon? Well, if you do Merchant Fulfilled, it's like you getting on an airplane and they tell you, take a right, sit and coach. If you are Amazon's FBA program, you can take a left, go into first class because you are a prime member. And so that's the best way I can kind of uh, let you, you know, tell you guys. So you do understand that uh, FBA is a little better when it comes to that, but um, it's an opportunity for Amazon to charge you more for shipping. So obviously they're going to charge you more for shipping. They're going to charge you for packaging. They're going to charge you for customer service. They're going to charge you for all that. So obviously it's going to cost you a little bit more as if you were to do Merchant Fulfilled by yourself. If you were to do Merchant Fulfilled by yourself, uh, that would be different. Um, you know, it's a little cheaper. It's, it's not going to cost you $4 per unit minimum as it may cost you couple of dollars uh, to get the product out you know so you kind of have to weigh your options and kind of have to go from there so uh, hopefully you guys uh, get that hopefully you do understand and uh, you know get the idea so I have both I, I do 95% um, of my uh, listings are Amazon's FBA program I send the products into Amazon's FBA but then I have a few that I can make a lot of money off of and I do it myself. I fulfill it myself just because it could cost quite a bit, you know. One of these little packages could be $50, $60, uh, you know, that I'm, I'm charging and it costs me three bucks, a little over three dollars to ship this particular product out um, as opposed to if you go to Amazon and you're charging $60, well, they're gonna charge you eight, nine bucks just to ship that one product out because they're gonna ship, they're gonna charge you for shipping fees, for uh, setup fees, for packaging, for their customer service. So it does add up when it comes to that. And that's where you kind of have to say, well, I'm new at this, what do I do? And I always tell my members that if you're new, Try Merchant Fulfilled first, get the hang of it, uh, and get used to it, uh, and, and kind of fill it out that way. But at the same time, send some products in to Amazon's FBA program. So if you get uh, an order of, say, a thousand, just hypothetically, send 500 units into Amazon's FBA program and do the 500 here and see what happens and see if you like it or if you don't like it. I mean. You have to buy a printer, you have to, um, you know, when you do Merchant Fulfilled, you have to make sure that you have a printer, you have to make sure you have paper, uh, envelopes, um, labels. So all that comes into play. It's not like you're buying it every day because you're not. You know, I buy boxes and boxes of boxes of envelopes and I buy tons and tons of labels. And I get that all from Amazon, I order it directly from Amazon um, and I may get uh, the packaging uh, somewhere else, you know, local area and pick them up by the thousands um, and kind of do that and save me money. It's not like I'm, you know, doing a thousand orders every day, Merchant Fulfilled, because I don't. Um, I do, I probably, you know, just today alone, I did about 90 units of Merchant Fulfilled all day today. And that's actually really, really good. But when you get into um, Amazon's FBA, well, 400, 500 units is not, um, is not uh, 
no big deal, you know. It, it, I mean, I, I well, I mean, it'd be nice for everybody to be doing that, but you do make. Um, I've been doing this for a long time, so my account is excellent, and so I, I get a lot of business that way. So, all right, it looks like we got some questions coming in. Uh, we are about 15 minutes into uh, this here, so I'll probably say hello to you people and uh, answer some of these questions uh, and see if we can get that going. So. If you're new to this channel and you need to ask me a question or want to ask me a question, feel free to ask. Ask why you can. I have my training platform at techdaddyvideos.com and so I have a free package there. You guys can take a look at the free package and then I also have paid packages also. I, I want to put that out there uh, and just so you guys know. If you're brand new, feel free to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell just uh, so you know when I come on live because I come on live uh, other nights too other than Monday night. But Monday nights are uh, where I kind of come in on uh, Monday nights at 6 p.m. Pacific time. And it's kind of late for some people and it's early for others, you know. But I'm here to answer your questions and uh, hopefully that, that helps. And if you are getting great information don't forget to smash the like button. I really would appreciate that. Uh, that helps out my videos, uh, believe it or not, uh, out on YouTube. And so just hit that like button and, and, I, and we'll go from there. All right, guys, let's take a look and see um, who is on. We're going to answer some questions. Now, just remember, just go ahead and, and just ask the questions and I'll, I'll just read them off at, as I'm, I'm, I'm here and hopefully we don't get kicked off for some reason. Sometimes the internet is uh, not working great or what have you, and I do get kicked off, but I try to get right back on. Uh, okay, so let's see here. Um, Renee is here, hello Renee. Uh, Renee, as a matter of fact, just signed up for um, uh, the package, the Amazon A to Z course, so welcome Renee, appreciate that. And uh, hopefully everything is going well in the Amazon A to Z course. Hopefully you're learning a lot. So I appreciate that also. And uh, let's see who else is on. Uh, I see. What's up there, I see? O-L-A. O-L-A. Hello, Henry. Sent it Zell. Uh, sent. Uh, I think you're talking about my private coaching that I was talking about. So uh, let me know, O-L-A, if, if that's what you meant. Uh, and, and, and hopefully we can um, get that cleared up. Amazing Mickey, what's up there Amazing Mickey from Japan. Uh, also a student, I appreciate that. Hello, uh, Toby Dan, Toby Dan, Toby Dan. Toby Dan's in the house saying hello Henry. Nice Bendy, nice Bendy. Do you, uh, do they reimburse you for the shipping products? No, they don't re reimburse you anymore. Um, they used to reimburse you for uh, your shipping costs, uh, you know, sending the product out a while back, um, and then they kind of stopped that. So, um, no, they don't. They don't do that. Uh, that's kind of on you. So you're, you know, you have to absorb all that. Try to get it as cheap as possible. That should help you out. So. Uh, Eduardo, what's up there, Eduardo Rosa? Uh, hello, Henry. Greetings to our team. Hello. Um, Amazing Mickey says, Henry, how do you personally decide which product to sell as Merchant Fulfilled instead of doing them as Amazon Fulfilled? Great question. What I do is I look at the cost of the product that I'm, I'm getting and I will figure out if it's more feasible for me to go out there and ship that product merchant fulfilled. I'll give you a good example. Well, I have a product that I can get for $2.50 and I sell it on Amazon for $49. So my profit is um, going to be roughly around $34 if I send it um, if, if, if I, if I, no, I, I take that back. $44 if I send that merchant fulfilled. If I send that through Amazon's FBA, they charge you because of the price, if it's a little higher. So they're gonna charge you more. So I think uh, I make, if I, if I was to send it in the Amazon's FBA program, 
Um, I'm looking at a profit at around 36 uh, bucks. So uh, I kind of just was ship it out myself because it's a lot cheaper for me to do that. I can set it up for $4 uh, anywhere in the U.S. through first class. Uh, it does qualify for that. And so I do put that listing up and I do have a very high price on that listing itself, a very high profit. And so um, those are like those little few nuggets that you can find that uh, go out there and you sell. And I've been selling that product for a long time. And I do that merchant fulfill. So um, that right there, if I get an order, I just package it up and send it off. And uh, I know I'm making good money off of that. So, all right, good question. Uh, Renee says, with FBA, once an order comes in, say they order, say they are eight ordered, do we need to confirm the orders and pay the orders with our own credit card or is this automated? Uh, Renee, um, when you get an order and that order comes into your back office, you, if you use Amazon shipping, uh, which I prefer is you use Amazon shipping, they're going to bill you for it and it's actually taken off of your money that you make. So. If you get a paycheck every two weeks, well, part of it is going to be the shipping costs. And that's where they're going to go out there and deduct that before they give you your check or send that to your checking account. Uh, that will be deducted from your account itself. The beauty about it is you kind of don't even see, uh, to me, you don't see... Um, them taking that money out until you know if you're making tons of money tons of money you kind of just you forget about it to be honest and the way i look at it is as soon as an order comes in i want to get that order done as quickly as possible because as soon as you complete the order um you can uh it will go into your uh telly where your money is and it will account for that so uh also when you are doing merchant fulfill, it is very, very important to get that uh, notified as shipped right away. So there's there's uh, two options. There's buy shipping and confirm shipping. If you confirm the shipping, that means that you basically close that order so the customer knows that that order is now being sent. That will not hurt you if you have, say, one day uh, shipping or two day shipping. Uh, but if you wait past that two days and you don't confirm the shipment, it will tell you shipment is late. That will hurt you as far as your matrix in the back office. You do not want to get late shipments because if you get late shipments, they can and they will suspend your account or shut your account down because you are not meeting your requirements. So the easiest way to do that is to confirm the shipment and then buy the shipping later. Just make sure when you do that, that you write down that order number because you're gonna to have to go back into your op back office, put that order number in and then buy the shipping, okay? Because it, it would just like disappear and you'd be like, oh, what happened? What happened to my, my shipment? Make sure that you get that order number down, you write that order number down. But the best way to do it is just to buy the shipping right away, print the label, and then you can ship that out a day later if you want to. As long as you print that label, uh, you're good. If you confirm the shipment, you're telling the customer the product's on the way. So um, again, just figure out what you wanna do, what's the best way for you to do that. But if you put on your, um, on your listing that you do two-day uh, shipping, that you're going to ship it within two days, you better make sure when you get that order that you either come the shipment or you buy the shipping within two days. If not, it is considered late and that is going to hurt you big time. Just a little piece of advice, all right? Uh, so... Uh, and hopefully I, I answered your question. You won't have to use a credit card or anything or what have you. Uh, let me see here. Eid, Eid Shaman. Uh, how we know niche is saturated. Oh, it's very easy. Um, listen, I mean, if you got 
2,000 sellers selling the exact same thing is saturated, right? Yeah, there is a um, Jungle Scout you can use. You can find out how many people are making all this money. Say you have 25 people making over $10,000 a month. Uh, and then you have a whole bunch of other ones. Obviously, that particular product is going to be saturated. If you have maybe two people making over $10,000 a month and then the rest are kind of here and there, it's not saturated. It's, not, it's something that I would kind of look at. Um, you want to look at the product itself to see if that product in that niche, for example, um, we're going to get into a niche here that is going to be very, very saturated. It's pets. Um, and we're going to get into, say, electronics. Electronics is very, very saturated. A lot of people selling iPhone cases, iPhone stuff, uh, galaxies, you, what have you, you know, phone accessories. Uh, those can be a little bit more saturated as opposed to maybe something like industrial or appliances. Appliances very rarely get uh, saturated. I sell in appliances myself. I sell parts and parts are very, very good in appliances because you can pr probably sell one or two or three or four a day and your BSR ranking is going to be way up here. You know, your best seller rank is going to be way up here and you're going to be able to sell a lot more. But if you were in electronics and you were selling two or three or four or five a day, well, your BSR ranking is not here. It's actually way down here because you have so many other people selling it and it's a bigger category and it's something that you kind of have to look at. I talk about this in my training, in my uh, training platform. I talk about which uh, categories you should be looking into, which categories you should be staying away from. So it kind of giving you an idea um, here on YouTube that um, electronics uh, and beauty, uh, another one too, uh, but you have to be ungated in beauty. And once you get in, you can get in and you can make quite a bit of money there. So, all right, so hopefully that answers your question. Um, Nice. Bendy says, do they reimburse you for the merchant delivery? No, they don't. They don't anymore. Um, what's up there, Mango's Closet? Mango's Closet says, hello all. One click deals and why? Hello, Henry. What's going on there? First time I've seen you here, uh, one click. Welcome aboard. And uh, let's see. If you guys have questions, now's the time. Now's the time to sit there and ask them. Just keep them coming because I love it when you guys are... Uh, Inter, you know, you guys are active with me, you're, you know, communicating with me, and I'm able to sit there and answer these questions. So, yeah, feel free just to keep them coming and, and see if we can answer that. Uh, <laughs> oh, OLA says $5. I appreciate that. Uh, OLA, OLA um, Super Chat. Uh, also, you can, you can uh, go out there and donate money for this channel and have you. OLA does that every single time I'm on. I appreciate that. Give you a thumbs up for that. I really appreciate that. That just goes into my little kitty bank right there and then I can buy, um, I don't know, new lighting or something, who knows. What's up there, Christian Levi? Christian Levi is on and uh, Nice Bendy says, okay, thank you. What's up, Carmelo, Carmelo, Horado? Hey, Henry, better late than ever. Yes, that is absolutely right. Maria Teresa Ortiz? Welcome. She is one of my members. She had purchased the Amazon A to Z. And you know what, guys? Let everybody know how you feel about the course. I don't want them to hear it from me. I want them to hear it from you. So if you enjoy the course, you don't like the course, whatever, put it out here on YouTube. I mean, and, and put it in your own words and kind of go from there. And that way they hear it from you. They're not hearing it from me. And, you know, I promote my course promote my course every single time I come on to YouTube and uh, it's techdaddyvideos.com. You guys all know that. And uh, in the description below, you can find the links there. You get a lot of free links there that I do have there uh, and take a look at those. I do have a free uh, course that you can take also. Take a look at that also. All right, guys. 
Sorry about that. I knew this was going to happen. Um, what happens is the internet just kind of just goes out. Um, and so I'm just right back on. I just got to jump right back on. So if I missed your question for any, any reason, just go ahead and uh, redo it in chat and I'll, I'll read it out to you. Okay. All right. So, um, dun, 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 dun. Uh, let me see here. Wow, there is a lot of people on today. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, Maria, Teresa, Ortiz, me too. I am late. No problem. Better late than ever, right? Better late than ever. RV, uh, Renee says, um, if I am selling a tortilla warmer, I need boxes to go to three different locations. Does Amazon know the demographics of which area this would go to? You know what? Renee, do not worry about um, where it goes to. If you decide that you want to ship this product out and you want it to go to a special warehouse, say you say you are in Los Angeles and you want it to ship close by, say Long Beach or something, and you want to be specific on that, they're going to charge you and they're going to charge you lots and lots of money for you to send those three boxes to a specific location. What you're going to do, and this is in the course, and I know that you're a brand new member, but what, but read shipping. When I talk about shipping to Amazon, it's in the, it's in the, the Amazon course uh, fulfilled by Amazon. You're gonna take a look at that. I think it's private label, how to private label a product, uh, shows you how to ship that product to Amazon. You're gonna ship all three boxes together with one uh, unit, basically. Um, if all three boxes, if they don't fit on all three, I think there's like 150 units per box max that you have to ship out per one box to Amazon's FBA. So if, say, for example, you had, I, I don't know, um, 450 units, you had three boxes, um, you just put 150 in one box, one box, they're going to tell you exactly where to ship it to. They may say, ship this one box to Nevada, ship this one box to New York, ship this one box to Texas. Just do what they say, ship the product out. It's a lot cheaper where they tell you exactly where to ship it to as opposed to you saying, I want to ship it here, okay? That's going to save you tons and tons of money because it will cost you a lot of money. If Amazon can charge you guys for money just for doing just these little things, they're going to. Uh, you bet. They're not doing it for free. Um, and, uh, oh, second to the second, uh, you had mentioned about, um, uh, does Amazon know demographics to which area this would go to? No, they, they kind of will send it everywhere. If, if, um, if I have a product and I'm in California, and I want to uh, sell to somebody in New York or somebody from New York wants to buy my product. Well, if they have that particular product, say in um, New England, it's obviously a lot closer than California. So they're just going to have it shipped directly from their warehouse in New England, get it to their customer in New York. And don't, you just don't worry about it. You let them do it. That's called the Nexus program where they don't go out there and charge you for, or they don't get charged for taxes for each state. So in other words, if I was to go out and ship this product from California and it stayed in California, California can charge Amazon taxes for holding my product in a warehouse in California. Amazon, not gonna do that. They're gonna tell me, send this product to Florida. And then we'll spread it out everywhere. And guess what? They save money on taxes that way. And um, all right. So Carmelo, what's up there, Carmelo? Carmelo says, can a seller have an item from FBM and FBA simultaneously? Yes, you can. You can do that. It is in my training. I show you how to do that, but it's very simple. What you're going to do is you're going to copy that listing and then you're going to create another listing for the exact same product, okay? And I show you how to do that with the ASINs, with the SKUs, and everything else on the training itself. And I show you how to duplicate a listing for that so you do it correctly, okay? All right, but yes, you can 
uh, do that. I, I have it. Uh, sometimes I have my products for uh, Merchant Fulfilled that I do. I ship some out to Amazon's F A FBA and it gives me both listings for those. So, uh, Edwin, what's up there, Edwin Lombardi? Uh, Edwin says, hi, Henry. Once you g I get a product in Amazon's warehouse and ready for sale, what other steps are needed to get your product selling? Thanks, Edwin. Pay-per-click, pay-per-click, pay-per-click. Automatic campaigns, manual campaigns. That's what you have to get, okay? You have to make sure that that product is in the warehouse. You have to make sure that it's active. You have to make sure it is ready. People make the mistakes because they sit there and they go, oh, um, you got into the warehouse, but it's still on reserve. Well, it's when it says reserve and you check it and your listing and it says reserve on it, what two things happen. Either somebody purchased your product or it's moving from one location to another location. So it can move from one warehouse to another warehouse. Remember I told you guys earlier about kind of they ship your products out here and here and here. Um, then, um, you know, that that's exactly what happens. I have one product, as a matter of fact, I have one box that just got checked in uh, on Saturday. Just got checked in, I sent about a thousand in on Saturday. And today I got the notification that only like 50 of them are, are sitting in reserve. That's because one warehouse basically got that product, put it in as active, put it in as a warehouse, and then the rest I'm still kind of waiting on. So it shows up as reserve, 50 in reserve, even though I sent a lot more. But those, that, those, that number will start to increase, increase, and increase, and then you'll know that product is active and it shows in my account as it, as it being active. And if it's being active, it shows active. That means they accepted it in the warehouse. It's ready to go. This warehouse did its job and we're good. So, all right. Uh, one click deals, New York. Yes, sir. You're a wonderful, intelligent person. I watch all your videos. Appreciate that. I really appreciate that guys. And especially you there, uh, one click deals. Uh, appreciate that. Give you a thumbs up for that too. Hey, Lex Luther. Lex Luther was says hi, Henry. Uh, DW. Hey, what's up there, DW? I haven't seen you around. What are restricted categories? Can you penetrate it if you're selling used or uh, used or refurbished? No, you can't. Uh, restricted categories are, are also called gated categories, and you have to get yourself ungated. So if it's restricted, there is two things. Um, brand names, for example, you have uh, Nike. Nike's restricted. You cannot sell Nike products because uh, Nike is a brand registry. So most of the time when it is brand registered, it is restricted. You need the owner's permission in order to sell that particular product. Now, I talk about gated and ungated categories because I think that's what you're referring to, um, but you're kind of saying restricted uh, categories. If, if it's restricted categories, um, that means that it's gated or ungated. For example, um, I think it's home and garden or uh, uh, and arts and craft. I think those are uh, unrestricted. You can sell in those, but like beauty, um, beauty, you have to, uh, put in your application and you have to be accepted in order to get into that category. So if you're going to sell a product, put a listing up, it's going to tell you it's gated. You're going to need approval. And it says need approval on it. It's the only best way I could sit there and kind of explain it to you. I, I, I couldn't tell you because I've had my account for 11 years. So everything in my account is is ungated. I don't have anything in my account that's gated. I can sell and all I sell in jewelry, arts and craft, industrial, uh, beauty, health and personal care. I sell in all of those and some of those are gated and some of those are not gated. So I think that's what you're probably asking. Um, if it's restricted, 
then it's a product, then you're, you're, you're going to be more towards the brand registry, the Nikes, the uh, Under Armors, and, and, you know, DeWalt, you know, the drills and all that. You can't sell it unless you need their permission, and you have to get their approval. So there's two different things there. So hopefully that helps. RV, uh, I noticed, Renee says, I noticed an item on Alibaba's e electronic item was pretty much a retail pricing. Didn't seem like wholesale pricing. Uh, would I call a vendor to negotiate way, way lower? Absolutely. I mean, look, uh, Renee, you're just getting into this. So you want to make sure, and I talk about this in my videos, you must, must get at least three different uh, manufacturers or distributors that you can trust on the same exact product. Because what happens is, uh, say for example, and this happened to me, uh, I had a whole bunch of toothbrushes that I ordered. And so when I had all these toothbrushes, I was selling them like mad. And um, just selling, uh, you're talking, thousands and thousands every single month I was selling these things. Well, I went back to um, the one manufacturer that was making them, private labeling for me, putting my name on it. They got flooded out. A typhoon came in and uh, they got flooded out and they were done for almost a month and a half before they um, were able to get back into business. And that was a learning experience for me. So I always look at other suppliers that have the same thing, that could do the same thing. And I can go from this region to this region. So I'm gonna to go to Thailand, I'm gonna to go to China, I'm gonna go anywhere I can get that particular product and just get those manufacturers to uh, sell them to me in case this one can't do it, you know, this one can't. You know, anything can happen. I mean, you know, a warehouse could catch on fire, they're out of business and you know, there's tons and tons of people. There's a lot of people uh, on in China, on Alibaba that sell the exact same thing. And you know, just gotta go out there and find them and negotiate with them. And sometimes you can get a better deal with one manufacturer and one distributor than you can with somebody else, okay? All right. But the answer would be try to get two or three. Um, Eduardo Rosa, amazing content, very well explained and updated. Thanks, Henry. And he's talking about my courses at Tech Daddy Videos. I try to get that out there, I try to uh, get new products out there to you guys. Uh, every first of the year on my Amazon A to Z course, I give out a brand new product uh, for my members. Uh, the people who have paid for that, they get a brand new product every single month at the first of the month that they can sell that makes thousands and thousands of dollars. You don't have to go and look for it. I give it to you. I do my homework. I check it out thoroughly. I buy this. I sell this. So if I'm selling it and I give it out to my members, I'm not afraid of some of it being saturated. The reason why, and I'll, and I'll explain this to you, is because Amazon is so huge. I can turn around and sell a product, say in Australia, and somebody else can sell it here in the UK or somebody else can sell it here in the dot-com industry. And you could get hundreds and hundreds of sellers selling the exact same thing. Here's the, here's the thing. If they all have the same keywords, yes, it would be a problem. But they don't. Nobody knows their listing better than you. You go out there and I say, okay, I'm going to put in uh certain keywords in my toothbrush listing you know i'm going to put bpa or eco-friendly or and, and you may not even think about that but that's where the hits are coming from the hits are coming from somebody who is uh, a health nut going out there and saying you know what i don't want to buy plastic i want to buy bamboo you know uh toothbrushes or i want to buy you know this and if you have that in your uh keywords and nobody else knows, then your listing may come up in front of them. And all my other students, they have keywords and my listing may not come up in front of theirs. 
So that's why I'm not afraid to give out my products when I go out there and, and do that because I know it doesn't hurt my sales one bit. I can do two to three to 400 sales per day, per day with my products. And I'm still okay. If it hurt my sales, then I would say, oh, okay, I shouldn't have done that. And, but that's okay. It doesn't because Amazon is huge. They're in 180 different countries. And I don't know if you're going to sell in Mexico. I don't know if you're going to sell in Canada. I don't know if you're going to sell in the dot com industry. I don't know if you're going to sell in the UK or Australia or any other platform for all I know. You can sell the exact same thing that I have. And if you go out there and you sell it somewhere else, I would never know. Let me use this as an example. I use this as this. Uh, I think uh, Renee talked about earlier, one of my new students, she talked about demographics earlier, okay? And the best way that I can sit there and explain this to you guys is this. If I'm in Los Angeles, and somebody from San Diego buys my product. Um, I have a better opportunity to sell that product to somebody from San Diego than somebody in New York. Say you have a listing, same product, but you are in Florida and somebody from Georgia buys your product. It doesn't make sense for Amazon to give me the sale. Not at all. It, it costs way too much money. I kind of use the refrigerator theory as a, uh, a good theory is you're in New York. Doesn't make sense for you to buy a refrigerator in California and have an Amazon going to ship it all the way over there to their customers for free. Doesn't, you know, they're prime members. Doesn't, it's not going to work that way. If you're in New York and somebody say in Queens is, is, has a listing for a refrigerator and they're right down the street, it's more, it makes more sense to go out there and get it from that seller as opposed to somebody here in California. So demographics kind of come in in that, in that aspect. Um, it doesn't mean that I don't sell in, in New York or I don't sell, um, in the east coast because most of my sales do come from the east coast and i know i'm kind of you know talking you know one side to one side but you have to remember that they take a lot of things into consideration the weight the cost uh their customer work the, the demographics where they're at if you have another person selling the exact same thing that's you know 10 miles from them as to close to 2500 miles well they're going to give it to that person okay and I'm not going to get the sale for that, but that's okay with me because I would rather just send it to somebody right down the street, get it there faster, and there you go. So um, hopefully that makes sense. Um, OLA says, I enjoyed the course, have watched several others so far. Henry is the best to me. Lucky to find him. Appreciate that, OLA. Uh, thank you very much. I try to be as honest as I, as I possibly can with you guys. You know, I, look, I, I have other people that have paid for my course that literally have paid i am cheaper than anybody else on the internet i have people have paid five thousand dollars for their course bought my amazon a to z course which is a fraction of that and learned a lot more and i'm gonna tell you like i tell everybody else you try calling anybody else that is selling an amazon a to z course or amazon course try calling them Try to get a hold of them. Try to even see if they respond back to you. That's the difference. I have my phone number on every single one of my videos right here up on top. 626-225-3002. They can call me and leave me a message and I will call them right back if I'm not on the phone. But I do pick up the phone. It's my job. That's what I do. All right, uh, Eduardo. All right, uh, hey Henry, I have a few questions. I wonder if I can call you later. Yeah, you can call me later. I mean, hey, that's what I just talked about. Yes, perfect, call me later. If you can't get a hold of tonight because it is going on seven o'clock already, 
feel free to call me tomorrow. Oh, uh, you know what? Tomorrow, um, yeah, I'm sorry. Tomorrow I will be busy from 10 to 12. Uh, I'm going to be meeting up with Kevin O'Leary, uh, Shark Tank. And so I'm going to be in one of his meetings and uh, be there. I want to see if I could try to get some pictures. I don't know if he's going to be there long or not. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Business meeting, as a matter of fact. Uh, Maria says, uh, his, uh, his course helped me to decide to change the way I do business on Amazon. Best decision I made. He is there to support you and answer questions or concerns. The course will answer most of your questions. Man, I appreciate that, guys. Guys, I really appreciate uh, you guys doing this. I'm not, I'm not telling them to do it. You guys can put it in your own words. I appreciate that. Um, Renee says, is pay per click through Amazon or third party or campaigns third party or we pay Amazon for this? Um, Look, you could, uh, Renee, there, there's other people that go out there and they sell, say for example, they do uh, pay-per-click, but they'll, they'll put it on uh, Facebook or they'll buy a website on Shopify. And um, I tell people, look, if you, um, you know, people go to Facebook to socialize, okay? They don't go there to buy. They go there to find out about their high school partner, I don't know, whatever. Um, Shopify, they create their own website. They have to drive people to their own website on Shopify. So it costs a lot more. Uh, whether you're doing pay-per-click or what have you, trying to drive people from Facebook or YouTube or what have you to Shopify, it's a third-party website. What I talk about in the course itself is Amazon loves it loves it when you when you spend money on Amazon. They don't care so much about your spending money on Facebook. So do you think that they're going to give you the love that you want if you are putting all your money into Facebook ads as opposed to Amazon ads? So it's going to uh, benefit you to go out there and, and do your pay-per-click ads with Amazon. People go to Amazon to buy. It is the largest website in the world for retail buying products. That's where you need to advertise. $38,000 last year of advertising is what I did. Um, just on Amazon and Amazon alone. I didn't go to Facebook, I didn't go to Shopify, I didn't go to any of these other places out there. Even though some people will say different and say, well, Shopify is um, less saturated. Somebody called me on that the other day and I said, look, why you think that and why you go out there and spend money on that, I'm going to tell you right now, it's been proven, proven. If I spend a thousand dollars a day on, on Amazon, I'm going to make four times as much sales as you going and promoting a thousand dollars on Facebook anytime. And I, and I challenge anybody on that because Amazon loves it when you spend money on them. They put you right at the front door. They put you right there. It's like this. It's like you going to Disneyland and you have this fast pass. Well, while everybody else is standing in line on Facebook ads, my Amazon ads, right there in the front, front of the line. And I'm just looking back going, see you suckers. I'll spend my money here on Amazon. Sales here on Amazon. Every day I get sales. Every day. All right. And you guys should be doing the exact same thing. Uh, DW, branded, correct. Okay, so we did answer that question for you, DW. Appreciate it. Branded products. Uh, Carmelo says, thank you very much. No problem. Uh, OLA. Uh, Henry will always answer. Call you back shortly. For Forgot to mention that fact. I appreciate that. Uh, and Christian, Christian Levi. Um, uh, that's true. Henry, I know this group on Amazon who charges four to 5,000. Henry, I enjoy your course. Appreciate that. Uh, 
uh, also. And I do have private coaching right now. I only have a few spots available. If you watch my other um, uh, video on YouTube, I talked about that. I was just going to have a few spots available for the next few months for a two-hour private coaching. You go to my website for that um, and uh, take a look at it there. Uh, or watch my just just watch my video uh, private coaching uh, on Amazon. Just do a search for that on YouTube. And I talk about that and I only have a few, really, I only have a few spots left. They're filling up extremely fast. I did get some of your, uh, uh, your, your guys' money already to put that in. So I already booked that for you. So don't worry about that. Um, but for those of you who want the private coaching, I'm doing one-on-one -on -one, uh, through uh, my computer. And if you're local, uh, then I'll, I might meet up with you. I think I'm going to probably... Sorry about that, guys. But um, I was talking about the pri private coaching, and I do have a few spots available. So if you guys want to take a look at that, go to my website at techdaddyvideos.com. Take a look at the coaching packages there, and I do have that there. So, all right. Um, let's see. What else? What else? Uh, okay. Uh, ooh, Carmelo. Carmelo says, Amazon success through your courses. Highly recommend it. Can't wait for your YouTube course. Not going to happen. I'm not going to have a YouTube course. I have too many people that go out there and pay for my private course. Sorry, guys. I'm not giving you the same information on YouTube that I have on my private coaching whatsoever. So jump all over the course. You're going to be waiting a long time on YouTube. All right. Uh, Christian. Henry, we don't have Zell Pay here in the UK, therefore I could not make a payment. So can I use, no, you know what? Um, go ahead and use uh, PayPal. Um, go ahead and use PayPal, uh, Christian. Uh, I'll take your money this time through PayPal. I normally don't use PayPal just because I hate it because uh, of the fees, but use PayPal and I'll take care of that. Uh, Eduardo says, yes, I am. Appreciate that. Um, Christian says, I mean, uh, regarding the coaching, yes, no problem. Just go, go through PayPal and that's uh, taken care of. Ahan, what's up there, Ahan? Uh, haven't heard from you in a while. Hopefully everything is going good for you. Um, and so, uh, yeah. So anyways, guys, that is the kind of the thing here for... Um, um, <laughs> Carmelo says, no, Henry, I meant how to do a YouTube. Oh, I'm, I am an Amazon. I'm an A to Z paid member. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, Carmelo. I, I misunderstood you. Um, uh, Ahan says, fine. Yeah, okay. Ahan's on the other side of the world, too. Uh, I think my members also. I, I'm getting quite a few of you uh, out here that are brand new. Take a look at the course. Take a look at what I have to offer. And hopefully that, that helps you. I do... Uh, Amazon Q&A every Monday night at 6 p.m. Unless I'm gone or doing something else, I, you know, don't show up. But most of the time I'm here, uh, out here doing an hour. And it is 7 o'clock. So, uh, guys, once again, I uh, appreciate that. I'm going to take a few more questions. If you have any questions, start putting them out now. I'll just take a few more and then I'm going to call it a night uh, and... Uh, do my thing. So, um, again, we were talking about uh, the members, or, or I'm sorry, we were talking about Merchant Fulfilled, and we were talking about Amazon's FBA program. So it kind of weighs both ways there to, well, do you want to, sh you know, ship the product out yourself? Uh, you can. Um, if you don't, then send it to Amazon's FBA program. You know, all these right here, I kind of did... I did all these right here in three hours. Basically, uh, these are uh, shipments that I got to get out to the post office. So I'm going to ship this stuff out to the post office itself, sending them all out first class. That is like the cheapest way to do it, first class, through, through uh, the United States Postal Service. You can ship it anywhere in the United States for a really low price, FedEx, UPS. Will cost a lot more. 
Um, so just make sure that, you know, when you're doing Merchant Fulfilled, kind of look at that. And in the back office, if you're going through Amazon's um, shipping platform, uh, they're going to give you the best price and, and, and go from there. All right. Uh, Eduardo says, selling like crazy, amazing. Yeah, I mean, I, I've been, things are picking up now. Uh, things are picking up now, and, and I knew this was gonna happen. So, uh, instead of doing 300, 400 units a day, you're looking more like 500 to 600 units a day. And so, um, I was looking at my Amazon uh, FBA, uh, and it's going bananas right now. And I think I'm gonna probably stop this pretty soon. Why well, I have to, stop it uh, next month uh, because I got to get ready to go out of the country so I'm you're gonna get ready for that um, and so I'm gonna have to get this product and send everything in Amazon FBA and kind of bite the bullet while I'm gone just so you guys know if you do take a vacation you do decide to go out out of the country like I am uh, or what have you if um, I put my product on hold on my merchant fulfilled if I could put my product on hold on Merchant Fulfilled, the product that's in Amazon's FBA program will always continue to sell because it's in their warehouse. So that will stay active. And so uh, I will be making money even when I'm on my trip. So, and you guys will be making money, same thing. Just put yourself on, um, uh, on vacation mode. And once you put yourself on vacation mode, if you have products that you sent in the Amazon's FBA program, that's gonna to continue to sell till you run out, okay? Uh, but the product that you're doing Merchant Fulfilled will stop, will just completely stop, and you don't get penalized or anything for it. All right, guys, um, I appreciate this. I appreciate all the comments tonight. Um, if you are um, interested in looking at some of the packages I have, take a serious look on them. Get started now. I'm telling you guys right now, things are getting busier, busier, and busier. Cannot wait to get my product out for the product of the month for next month. I'm already doing that and getting that ready. I hope you guys liked the product of the month last month and uh, prior to that. Uh, I know a lot of, I got a lot of great feedback on it. So uh, for those of you who have paid for the Amazon A to Z course, just take a look at the products and start selling those and start making some money. And uh, you should be fine. Um, for those of you who are still trying to figure out what sells and what doesn't sell, of course, I'm telling you, it's well worth it. It's going to help you out. It's like, I, I always say this, you know, I always go to the people that, that are very smart. You know, Kevin O'Leary, you know, Shark Tank, same thing, going to his uh, seminar and going to learn quite a bit on business, you know, and it's just something that um, I ha I'm fortunate enough to do so i'm gonna i'm gonna go out there meet up with them and uh you know hopefully who knows maybe you won't shake my hand but that's okay uh so but you always want to do what everybody else that is uh successful is doing instead of trying to pick your brain out there and figure it out and take you years and years before you finally do figure it out okay all right guys uh with that being said uh Take a look at the course. Uh, take a look at the free content that I have at techdaddyvideos.com. Tech also, if you're not subscribed to the channel, hit subscribe. You just hit subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell, and I will let you know um, what, what have you. And one more question. Um, DW, if you don't have to brag, if you don't want to, but what you mentioned, what is your gross sales per month value wise? Uh, it's a lot. I'm not going to say how much it is, but um, you're looking at a half a million dollars um, easily throughout the whole year. Um, so I mean, that's all I'm going to say. And uh, I do sell on other platforms like eBay. Uh, I sell on Amazon. I also have uh, quite a few more uh, revenue streams with my website and my affiliate programs, but it's not about me. It's about you guys It's about you guys going out there and doing the exact same thing start making that money and start generating because Once you start doing it Once you start going out there and paying for this course and then you realize how easy it is for you to Do the right things as opposed to do the wrong things 
and you start making money, then it's just going to be easier for you. You're going to sit there and go, wow. And that's why I get a lot of people, you know, that are members that praise the course because it's helped them or it's helping them. So just kind of think of it that way. Think of what the comments were that you, uh, that I was reading today and you'll understand how powerful that course is. And I try to make it better and better and better for you guys. So take a look, take a look at that. Okay, guys. Um, the top man, just a quick question, Tech Daddy. If I sell a book for $4 plus $2 a shipping, the customer will pay both. But why I have to pay for shipping as well as Amazon takes the 280 Well, you know, in, look, Amazon's going to make money regardless. Um, and book sales are used to be Amazon's number one category. Used to be. Not so much anymore. So you're going to find it a little bit more difficult to sell a book on Amazon as opposed, as opposed to selling uh, other things. The number one category here in the United States right now, in the United States right now, the number one category is groceries. Do not compete with Amazon in groceries. They know people buy groceries every single day. And if you compete with Amazon, well, you're kind of shooting yourself in, in the foot. So, but I don't sell in groceries because I know that's their number one category and I don't step on the big boy's toes, okay? But I will put my big boy pants on and go out there and sell other places and make money there. All right, guys. All right, uh, appreciate that. Thanks for all the questions, guys. Appreciate that. And take a look one more time at, uh, at the courses. Love to see you guys come on in. Love to put you in my private Facebook group. Love to have you as a member. All right, guys. You guys have a good one. We will see you next Monday, Monday night and uh, at 6 o'clock. And uh, peace. Everybody. You guys have a good one.